Jay's right, our hotel, our hotel looks a lot better. Um, and it's, it's a lot less people here too. But I think it's because they're probably scattered. Well, anyway, we have made it to Mother Wolf. Let's go grab something to eat. And good day everyone to another Something Good Sunday. Today is a treat while we were in Las Vegas. We're giving you both the new Mother Wolf and then also the infamous 24 hour oyster bar. All right, the atmosphere is pretty live in here. Um, so uh, music's playing. I didn't realize this place was that big. You, hope, you see it inside oh, of here, I'm sorry, guys. but you know, you don't know until you come inside and it's pretty huge. And the decor is really good in here too, so. But for the most part, it's huge. But let's see how the food tastes. So Mother Wolf is Chef Evan Zamash for traditional Roman cuisine. Uh, for that reason, we do, we do serve everything family style as you would if you were having dinner in the morning. So babe, what do you think about this menu? The menu is good. Um, I have no idea. This place seems more of an Italian restaurant to me. Mm -hmm. More of in the Italian family. Yeah. But I think he got me when he said lobster with literally tomato sauce. Oh yeah, the lobster spaghetti? Yeah, yeah I've have never spaghetti. ever had lobster spaghetti. I don't know if I'll be a fan of that. Um, I'm gonna just look up the menu and I'll let you guys know what I'm gonna order. Yeah, their menu is pretty extensive. Their wines and their cocktails, so. Yeah. You know, I came here just because I've, I've seen some things about it, and you know. He wanted to get the oxtail, oxtail meatballs. meatballs. Never heard of oxtail meatballs. And apparently two weeks ago, they moved them from oxtail to short rib, which is okay, because I had a short rib sandwich this morning with eggs, so I'm it still okay so for that. It was so good. So, um, we ordered an appetizer, which was the bread. Um, it was one of the breads that I heard was good. Um, so we're gonna check that out. I also ordered what I thought was the oxtail meatballs, like we said before, and now short rib meatballs, but hopefully they still taste the same and they're in that pomodoro sauce. Then I ordered uh, a fettuccine, which normally is Babe's go-to, but she didn't want any pasta, so I ordered that. And um, she's on the healthy kick side and got a salad. <laughs> so, 100% um, I love the environment here. Um, I didn't think, you know, stepping in the doors, you would get this type of environment, but they've been playing like these early 90s hip hop songs in the background for a while. Um, and the last song they played was Dead Presidents by Jay-Z. And I'm looking at the environment and the, just the selection of folks that's here. And I just wouldn't think that would have been on the list. However- Definitely not. Uh, it's definitely a vibe. Uh, we ended up getting, um, as of right now, just, a bottle of distilled water. Um, and before we even get into what the food looks like, I will say Mother Wolf is uh, a nice place, but I think you're paying for the environment. The food is a little uh, on the four or five dollar sign, I would say, just because of the menu items, but I really think you're paying for the environment. So hopefully the food is top tier and it is worth that four dollar sign price tag you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right so what came up first was our bread oh bread looks great oh you fine but um i'm about to cut into this thing and see how it is but you all know you got to pray first y'all know what we do Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for another year. We just ask that you continue to just bless us and we ask that you bless the hand of the prayer of this food. May it be nourished to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Check out the bread, guys. Oh, it's just literally filled, guys. Oh, my God. It's very, it's very airy. Like, I was thinking it was going to be thick bread. Again, one of those things where I was thinking it was going to be thick. This it's is not. like the bomb. Like that donut y'all didn't get to see earlier yesterday. I know, guys, I'm so sorry. But let's see how it tastes, okay? Good. Fluffy. Light. Oh, man. Basil. What else do you think is on top for the seasoning? 
Italian seasoning. But guys, it is so good. Hold on. You know how you get bread to come to your table? I mean, see, we, we have our favorites. We really do. I did not expect to bite in this bread and it'd be so full of flavor. Man. Man. <laughs> but talk guys. about it. So I ordered Moscato. Yeah, it's a regular Moscato. Literally a regular Moscato. But it is so Whatever they pulled it from, it is good. So let me let me let me focus on this. You see this? It's very very open. Light. Is it open? Yeah. He said open. <laughs> it is literally like open. But this I mean look good. at the inside. It's so good. The server just came by and brought our meatballs. He said something so light and low that I didn't understand what he was saying. I was like, yep, <laughs> sounds good. I know it's Pomodorian sauce and all that good stuff. So here are the meatballs, guys. Let me try it. What is all thing? Yes. Oxtail. Oxtail. Meatballs. Never, ever have I. That's all I have to say. Okay, so when you cut it open, it literally looks like beef. Looks like, like it. Like short ribs. That's literally what it looks like. But yeah. it's in a meatball. What do you think about that? So, crispy on the outside. Oh man, yeah. It's deep fried. Like literally deep fried. And short ribs. That's literally it. Like, I think what makes this really good, not just the Pomodorian sauce with it, but she's right, there's a, there's a crunch on the outside. It's like a layer that you bite into of crispiness before you get into the sauce of what, you know, beef short rib tastes like. If anybody knows when you make beef short ribs, and you pull them apart, I mean, they shred apart. So to have this extra layer of like a fried or crispiness around it, it's like added to the flavor. It's really good. It's really good. So I take that back. You not only pay for the atmosphere, the environment, you pay for the authenticity. Yeah. The authenticity. I caution. I That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So we're gonna get down on these and uh when my pasta and her salad comes, we'll be right back with you because um this is already good. Again, uh, this is Mother Wolf at Fountain Blue. All right, so we were gonna be back once the food came here, but for that, we got these squash blossoms. This is how they came out. Yeah. And they're filled with cheese, and they're kind of flash fried. We'll see. Okay, so, so far, everything that has been put on this table has had a flavor, a succulent flavor to them, so we're just like, oh man. And now most food, you know, you can say it's good, but everything that has been dropped here, there has not been anything missed on how good it is. So, this squash is literally made, it looks, guys, I'm gonna pick it up like this, because it looks like a rose, literally, that blossoms. But it's squash. Again, deep fried. It's really good. It's really good. As you can see, we devoured those appetizers. I'm saving a little bit of this bread for my main dish, but everything so far that hit the table has been good. So. Really good. It's not, again, those meatballs are not your regular meatballs. This squash that was filled with cream cheese, very light, the bread was light, and you know how sometimes you leave in a pasta environment or Italian restaurant, you leave heavy? This food doesn't seem heavy at all. The presentation was excellent. I must give them thumbs up for the presentation when it came to the squash. Um, no complaints at all. Huh? All right, so our main courses came here. Baby got his salad, like I said, as her main course. And then 
I got the fettuccine Pobrera pasta. Oh, guys, again, the presentation is ridiculous. <laughs> That's how, that's how you feed a birthday boy. <laughs> All right, so let me taste this pasta because babe dug into her salad as soon as she hit the table. I did. So this salad has olive oil, lemon juice, Arugula salad, um, black pepper salt. It's pretty good. It's simple but tasty. As Babe can say, shut the front door. There's nothing overly too exciting about this pasta, but the pasta is cooked perfect to perfection. Yeah, it's that perfect al dente. So I think that's what makes it good when you go to go bite it. Like it's not hard, it's not too soft. But I'ma let her guys look at this. I'ma let her taste it because you know. Uh, let me go ahead and taste this pasta for you. So the top of it guys has bruschetta, okay? The pasta is it's thin. Salad's really good too. It's clear. But let me go ahead and try it for you. So it's fettuccine. Alfredo and light almost? No. Nope, no Alfredo on it. No Alfredo, so no sauce at all. It's a, a lemon, butter, um, peppercorn. I gotta look at it again. Mm. But it's like the, the pasta is cooked perfect, right? Mm. It's light. It is. Like everything's it's been light. light here. So you don't end up too heavy afterwards. And I think that's a plus. Yeah. So. We'll get ready to dig in here. Yeah. Before we end this night, I just want to say that I did get some dessert. And even the dessert is good. He got some dessert for his birthday. You know y'all, me, I like to give y'all details. No lie. So this is coconut and chocolate chip. And even the ice cream is light. Yeah. Okay. We signing out from Mother Wolf. All right, and last up on the agenda is the 24-hour oyster bar. And this is within Palace Station Casino. So it's a hotel, it's a casino. Uh, it's a good place to stay from what I've seen. It looks very historic in here, which is, I've always liked that type of environment. But this 24-hour oyster bar is a hit in Las Vegas no matter what time you come apparently so let's get in and check it out I do I recommend not putting your hands in my bowl. <laughs> 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 no. Hey, don't be so rude in front of people. Let's do that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are at the Oyster Bra. And this is our very first time trying it. We actually got this sampler, right, baby? The starter, but it's the cold seafood. So this has the oysters, the shrimp. What else does it have? <laughs> so we got we got three oysters, three clams, and yes. three shrimp as a starter. Now I wish they had that little vinegar sauce like we had at the other places. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got some uh, clam chowder soup as a starter. So. So, mm. so the line was like I think I was in the line for like an hour and a half. It wasn't too bad, but it was an hour and a half in the line. Um, my babe went and played and gambled. Um, but so far, so good. It's really, really good. Um, well, I, think, I, think only the, I think the key thing about this place is it's 24 hours and it's not a restaurant. It's like it's literally an oyster bar. So we had about maybe 15, 20 seats at that. So, you know. But 
I'll let you guys know how it tastes. But I want to get into this shrimp. So our neighbor next to us, she was telling us to try to peel and eat shrimp. But I'm thinking, I don't, I don't like when people put the everything in the same cup. They got the, uh, the horseradish and the in the same cup. You didn't have to peel it, did you? Mm. 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 Now guys, I'm gonna be honest. I never had nothing in my yeah, mouth. We have. We, we have. This is so big. <laughs> We've had a couple that size. This is so huge. That's what she said. Where you go? Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. Baby. I don't know if I can these follow this. These are y'all golf oysters. These are y'all golf oysters, or yeah, are they? Are golf. Okay. I don't know if I can swallow that one. Yeah. They're from Louisiana. Okay. All right. I gotta put some stuff on it, though. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, she had to put some stuff on it. All right, guys. You see how fat this oyster is? Oh. Mm. That compared to the size of clam. I know. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Guys, literally. Mm. It went down like butter. Don't knock it till you try it. It is so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I never had clams. I don't know if I wanna try this. Well, I think we, we have clams. We have clam strips, but this is, you know, raw clam for it. So, give it a taste. Give it a try. No. Everything that's been clam related, I've kind of, you know, it's been cooked. Clams, clam chowder. Same thing. Guys, look how thick this is. Oh, here you go, here you go. Mm. Good? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good. I mean, the way it looks, you wouldn't think that it'll go down the way it needs to, but it's not chewy. It's a smooth. It's just nice. It's juicy and it goes down smoothly. Look at some oysters. They're kind of thick and chewy and they're hard. Yeah. This here is not hard at all. Literally, you will enjoy it. I'm trying to take it Baby, you ready to try the clam, guys? Yeah, because I, I normally only eat uh, oysters. I can't do the royal clam for that. I'm not advanced. <laughs> can't do it. I don't know if it's advanced, but it's different. Yeah, I've never had a raw clam. That's I've good. never had it. That's good. <laughs> you can't do it. But everything else is pretty good. So I ordered the gumbo. Baby ordered the pan I ordered roast. The pan roast, something different. Yeah. I'm kind of explain that once it comes. Thing that I did. And they did, they did give us some bread too. I just forgot. We just had to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our main dishes have arrived, and um, they're good. I, the first thing that came to my mind was, <laughs> was a seafood tikka masala. At that's least, exactly how it tastes. At least from what, I, from what I've, I've gathered. That's exactly it, how it tastes. It's like a seafood tiki masala. <laughs> With shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right. So, so it's tomato based and I, I, I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's good. I have the seafood gumbo and it's a little spicy, but everything inside is delish. It has like a gravy. I'm not literally a gravy girl. And I think that's my problem. I'm not a gravy girl. But for the most part, it is that seafood gumbo. I think I like my husband's meal better, and I like my neighbor's meal better. I should have got. I should have. I should have been obedient. She told me what to get, and I'm like, okay. Right. She was like, come here every third Sunday. I'm right. like, here you go. Boom. Right. Like, you guys have a so you. What is your name? Oh my goodness. Our neighbor saw us on YouTube. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they likes my food better than hers. I can tell. I do. Um, and you know what I just said earlier? Her bun, her spoon, and my bowl. <laughs> but I should have listened to 
my neighbor. Um, well, because I just can't get the family strength of the place you can get the gumbo. Yeah. He likes the gumbo, but he doesn't like okra, so he got it without me. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I love okra. I can eat okra okay. all day. I, I like okra too. Yeah, but I'm, all I'm always eating his food because he just like picks different things and then like, man. <laughs> and then when I taste your shrimp, I'm like, man. <laughs>